Coach, congratulations on making another GAC final. We'll take your opening statements and then questions. You know, I'm just excited. I'm proud of this team for, for their effort. You know, uh, we've had an up and down season, and they came out and they, they put 40 minutes together. And I'm just really proud of the effort. You know, I have five seniors, but not all my five seniors played in the minutes last year. And they've definitely been resilient. They've had some, we've had some hardships this year, but they've definitely stepped up, rose to the occasion, and, and they deserve every bit of the moment they're about to get. Just quickly speak to the resiliency of ECU to come back from down 20 to, you know, have shots to tie and just what that says about, uh, you know, Emily and the job she did there as an interim. Oh, man, they're doing a great job. They have a great team. I mean, I kept telling my team the whole time, no matter how many you get up by, they're going to fight back. I mean, they're too good of a team. Just to, They're not just going to roll over and, and let just let us win. You know, they obviously have some fight and they have some seniors and, and they're a quality ball club and they've done a great job this year. Um, earlier in the season, um, you lost to ECU at ECU, and then you beat them at home, and, and you beat them today. But when you lost at ECU, Kylie Bonis and Terrence Ayam were both out and not playing. So would you say that Taryn playing the next couple meet matchups is kind of like the X factor for you guys? Oh, definitely, especially when they manage. Taryn's one of my best attackers by far. I mean, she can, she can take people off the dribble with her crossover, and she can finish with bumps. She's a really strong guard, but her, 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 just her finesse to get to the rim is, is phenomenal. No one can stop her, I believe, and it really did hurt us. I mean, when I got two starters that, you know, Kylie's had 20-point games, Terrence had 20-point games. I mean, that's a good 25, 30 points that I had sitting on the bench that night, and that's hard to do when I only, I mean, at this point, I'm playing eight people. I mean. How was the support that you got from Tanner and from Cohen on the inside? You know, I think their defensive effort was great. You know, when they had the option to to catch and finish, they did. They did a good job, and they have been going against bigger, faster people all year. And they 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 they're resilient, and they're just you know, they're just tough. They do the little things that no one notices. I mean, like I told you yesterday in the interview, I think Jamie Cohen probably has more charges than anyone in the league. And you know, that's not a stat that most people get recognized for. But as, as a team, we recognize what she what she does and what Justin Penner does. Karen, it seemed like. Uh watch closely and see when the light would come on and you look ahead and say, okay, now it's when I'm going to kick in the afterburner. Generally, that was about three-quarters of the court down. And so you look ahead, you have a very good court awareness. Talk about your play going in and driving in. Uh, well, being a senior, I know how to put it out on the court uh, every time. It's about um, being able to know where to Speaking of that, when you guys were up one in the final minute, was there where you give that ball up or are you taking it to the hole no matter what? So I knew I, it was going to be in my hands, and uh, I knew I, what I had to do, and I did it. I, I was thinking about shooting the three, but I knew uh, the shot big and then driving it to the hole would be open, so that's what I did. You're a very passive player a lot of times. You are the best attacker, and then you know two people commit to you, and you can find Pinner or Jamie on the backside. But today it seemed like... There was a, a different thing about you, like you were demanding the ball, like you wanted the ball in your hands. Do you feel like it's kind of the, the March madness energy kind of getting to you, or do you think today was just your game to say, it's my game, I want the ball? Um, I think probably a little bit of both, but I think I wanted it in my hands. Like, um, when if the post is open, I'm going to pass it. If I'm open, I'm going to take it. Um, I think I played smart today, and I just think that, you know, just to add to that, I think that, you know, she, she does a good job of, of you got to have somebody step up and want the ball. You can't have everyone running from it. And, and Taryn wanted the ball today. And, you know, at the end, I was thinking, should I call a timeout? Should I not call a timeout? And it was best to not call a timeout because we do good in the flow of our game, the flow of our offense. I, I have confidence in my team. I have confidence in my players. They know who needs to get the ball, and they know who can do what with it. And I felt like they really they really stepped up to the seniors and leaders, and, and they made great decisions today. And I, I think that's just a direct reflection of the, the way we practice and, and the way we do things at Swasu. But I have confidence in them. I have the utmost confidence in them. Coach, with about 16 minutes left, you all were up 21. And the flow of the offense probably stayed about the same, but the offense itself changed. And this is for both teams. It became less of a passing game, more isolated looks, and one-on-one -on -one play. Can you address that? Yeah, I definitely think that they tried to isolate us because they wanted to try to take certain players out of the game. I mean, they even started denying Taryn, which Taryn doesn't get denied a lot, you know. But
that they tried to take her out because they did, if she didn't touch it, she can't score. So I felt like they tried to deny it and try to isolate us and think they can man man for man us. And I thought it worked for a little bit because it took, did take us out of sync. You know, our kickups, our, our kickbacks, and all the things that are part of our offense weren't there because of the deny. And then they tried to, you know, the same thing. They tried to isolate us down, down low um, and on some screens. And, and we, we found them, and we stopped the clock way too much in the second half. We didn't play defense with our feet, and I think that hurt us all the time. When, this, when that clock stops, that doesn't play to our benefit because we play so fast. We couldn't get going in transition because of all those dead balls. Good morning. All right, Coach, good luck tomorrow against uh, Harding, Arkansas Tech. Thank you. Thank you.